देन यू नीड टू लेवरेज दैट भाई मेरे पास एक्सपीरियंस है इफ यू गो कम्प्लीटली आउट साइड शिपिंग देन इन दैट केस वेर एवर यू यूल बी लाइक अ न्यू कमर हाई एवरी वन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूशल मर्चन एव रिकॉर्डेड वेलकम टू द सीरीज शिप टू शोर गाइडेंस सीरीज जिसके अंदर अभी हमारे साथ गेस्ट हैं कैप्टन गौरव राणा जो कि बहुत सारे मर्चेंट नेवी ऑफिसर्स को मरीन इंजीनियर्स को इज बिन गाइडिंग सो दैट दे कैन सक्सेसफुली ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम शिप टू शोर सो सर वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू सो मच प्रणीत एंड अगेन अ प्लेजर टू बी हेयर थैंक यू सर सर टुडेज क्वेश्चन दैट इज दिस इज अ सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज एंड द क्वेश्चन टू यू इज इफ समन वॉन्ट्स टू ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम शिप टू शोर वॉट ऑल ब्रॉडर डेफिनेशन वॉट ऑल ऑप्शन दैट पर्सन है say there are two to three dimensions and then in those particular dimensions just giving a bit of examples what all they can do can you please elaborate sir sure so uh, first of all once you have made up your mind and that's very very important first part is you need to make up your mind whether you want to sail or not sail right um, so once you do that and if you thought that i want to evaluate options other than sailing right then there are three things essentially where you could look at right number one is core shipping right when i say core shipping it means aspects which are related to ship management so to give you an example it could be assistant technical superintendent it could be purchase it could be a safety officer it could be a technical superintendent it could be a, a safety superintendent it could be crewing it could be a junior executive crewing it could be a senior executive it could be crewing manager as well right so these this these are what i typically consider the core core shipping fields where you could go so that's number 1 right number 2 is the broader maritime industry right and when i say more broader maritime industry then i look at say commercial shipping and this is not ship management this is commercial ship commercial shipping means um it could be becoming a broker which is in the prefix it could be becoming a voyage manager which could be postfix or it could be just handling the claims uh, operations part of it, right uh, so that's the second part uh, um, so 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 that's one uh, of of the broader maritime industry or you could get into logistics um so for example there are liner operations right you are a container master you are a container chief officer second officer you want to work in the port right there are enough and more jobs on the port side where uh, the deck officers can get into right or it could be maintenance of those containers those machineries uh handling the pms of that port and who best to manage then rather uh, best to manage other than us which is our marine engineers they know you know what are what and how to manage a reefer plant how to manage the containers how to manage uh, and and do the pms part of all of these things right um so so that was essentially the broader maritime and it can have enough and more fields but i have just taken a lot of a lot of fields which we'll be discussing later in the series one by right. one right third is now you want to quit sailing right um uh, uh, shipping totally and so what you could do is you could do a mba or you could do an msc which is non shipping right so um so you could possibly do say mba in finance you could do an mba uh, say msc uh, into um, say say one of the technology things um right or you could say do an msc in hr whatever is is the field of choice for you right what my suggestion is not as strongly recommend is anyone who has done more than 5 to 7 years of experience in shipping my strong recommendation is stick to shipping or the broader maritime field um because then you will be able to leverage those 5 to 7 years you will not be one of the thousands who will be in the line for a job right um howsoever if you are very very passionate to get outside this then get into an mba in the tier 1 mba colleges so look at iims look at isbs look at ncrts look at harvard look at wharton don't look at tier 2 mba colleges because you will earn you will your future will be much better by doing a good course in a uh, in the maritime field rather than doing a second tier course in the uh, mba or non shipping uh, msc 
आई गेस सर आई कंप्लीटली अग्री विद यू एंड स्ट्रॉन्गली बिलीव वॉट यूर सेंग की इफ यू हैव गिवन फाइव टू सेवन ईयर्स इन टू शिपिंग देन यू नीड टू लेवरेज दैट भाई मेरे पास एक्सपीरियंस है इफ यू गो कंप्लीटली आउट साइड शिपिंग देन इन दैट केस वेर एवर यू गो यूल बी लाइक अ न्यू कमर सो ऑल दो फाइव टू सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस विच वॉज इन आई कुड से इमेंस विच वॉज ऑफ इमेंस वैल्यू हैज गॉन डाउन द ड्रेन हैज गॉन वेस्ट सो वेरी राइटली सेड एंड दैट इज वेयर द पॉइंट लाइज so there are three domains number one is core shipping which sir has already explained number two is broader maritime number third is outside shipping altogether so we'll be covering one by one each and every aspect how can cnb on help you in your career progression number one we can help you in mentoring we have identified 33 fields where a mariner could get into we have 60 experts more than 60 who can mentor you into a field of your choice number 2 we can help you with your cvs and linkedin so if you want to make a short job cv or looking for a transition if you want to have a professional linkedin we can help you over there number 3 education so you would like to have a course which suits you know, to what to what you want to do it could be maritime law maritime economics shipping uh, operations it could be ports it could be supply chain it could be logistics it could be any of those things we are partner to more than 40 colleges and can help you in to getting the best course for you number 4 we can help you in jobs of course right we partner to more than 120 companies in india canada um singapore uh, copenhagen denmark uk um dubai and and you know hopefully if you have the right job for you we can help you